a good mad lads move in the making. Oh, a... Fujiwara pressing it for grabs. Picture. They've got it now. What can they do? <sighs> Defensive judgment to end the attack. They need to get tighter. And the mad lads unable to retain. And with that. Oh, sloppy by the absolute mad lads. And creditors important intervention. <laughs> So what's going on guys, it's Captain America, hope you guys are well and thank you so much for coming onto this channel. So just for this one it's a video on my CDM build as well as what we're going to be going through today is like the archetypes, the skill points, what I feel is my, and again it's my opinion of what I feel is best for my playstyle that suits well for the build that I'm going to be showing you guys and as well as like you know the perks that I use as well. So that'll be you know in this video as well so you can check that out plus my build, my height, my weight as well. I did place a little snippet of the of video of my CDM of just from one game. I have played as a CDM in many games and you can see those videos on my channels as well. My my main key position that I have for the club is a centre back, but I have been playing as a cam and CDM as well. You know, there are highlight videos for those as well, as well as build um, videos too that I have placed on my channel. So if you are a centre back as well as a cam, feel free to check them out and I will be placing it at the top of this video as well, a little link that you could go through. So I just want to quickly go through with you my stats as a midfielder. Again, as mentioned, you know, I do play as a cam as well as a CDM. So just it's going to be a bit diluted, especially around like the goal scored as well as the assist and the interceptions. Because again, it doesn't really filter it too specifically to a CDM or a cam for these, um, let's say, stats. But just to give you a quick little update, um, I played uh, as a midfielder 239 times. Man of the match 64 times, goal scored 80, 89 assists, and then interceptions 494 with 313 tackles. So just want to showcase that to you guys. And just to also show you where I am within the pro leaderboard, as mentioned, you know, I do play as a centre back predominantly. You know, I am ranked 511 in the world, but again, I don't have that many games played. You can see I've only played 367 times compared to, let's say, the average being around 1,500, let's say, within the centre-back games played. But as a midfielder, you know, um, I am ranked around 9,299. My average rating is 8.1. But again, it's a bit diluted due to the fact that I play both as a cam as well as a CDM. So you can see 81% pass, uh, passing possession. I've got 89 assists, same with what I showed you guys before. And then same, yeah, interceptions and tackles, 47% tackling. So again... You know, it's, you need to focus on the tackling as a CDM, of course. And let me just quickly showcase to you my tackling down here. So my tackling here is as a centre-back 49%. But yeah, it's just so slow with EA doing this update. Um, you know, just this week, like my game, the UI itself, is taking so lo long to load each screen. I don't know if anyone else is facing this issue. So, you know, the videos I tend to do is just as one. But for this one, you know, well done to EA. I have to break it up into like segmentations and I don't know what these guys are doing man the game broke couldn't even do the updates through like uh, origin had to reinstall origin now it's just completely broken before FIFA 23 comes out so I really don't understand what these guys at EA are doing just look look how long it's taken to load up how the hell is man supposed to do a recording or even play a game with the time that's taking to upload a screen apologies for this little rant but it's just frustrating that EA just can't fix simple things man like look just generally it just takes 10 years to filter from screen to screen I never faced this issue previously with any of the games or any of the UIs like this it's only since this update that they've done this stupid update which doesn't really affect pro clubs just I don't know their baby child which is I don't know was it ultimate team and that's it really apologies for the little rant but I have to rant because it's just so dumb what they do with this um, but swiftly moving along with my build as a central defensive midfielder again I usually use the position build as a right wing back It's just the pace side of things a bit more faster and as you can see just over here You know the build style um, that I have within the profile five point uh, sorry five foot four is the height weight I've got it as 116 again. It's just this is what I prefer as a CDM my center back build is the tallest at six foot seven but with my cam build as well as my CDM, I tend to be as small as possible. 
It's just because, you know, the pace is there. I'll put my attributes and my skill points around like physicality as well as defending. And you can see from the highlights earlier today, I was pushing people off or let's say, you know, taking the ball away and gaining the possession because the sheer strength that I was using because of the build that I have. Um, so just really, again, guys, going through my attributes and you know where I've placed my skill points and again if you are max level as you can see on the top right I have now achieved level 25 max level so these are the the skill points that I've used completely um, for these areas of allocation such as for physical I've got this so again feel free to use this again it's my own opinion of what works well for the playstyle that I use again you you are the anchor point as a CDM. You need to be there to support the you know the centre backs as well as looking at building the play fast and quickly, uh, you know passing it forward. So you are the anchor man. You are so important as a player on the pitch. There's so much you do as a box to box. Um, let's say as such, you know you're running around the pitch. You know you're pressing as a team as well as individually. So your stamina needs to be to the you know the the, the highest as well. So just a, a reference of what I've used down here in terms of physical. Defending as well, I don't really make a lot of slide tackles because I'm so small by the time I've slid, it's like a little hobbit, he doesn't even make the tackle, um, so it's a bit frustrating. But again, main thing that you should be focusing on is your defensive awareness as well as the positioning. And yeah, yes, you can put things on sliding, or sorry, standing tackle, but I haven't placed anything as my standing tackle, but you can see from the highlights from the video earlier, I was making, I made 12 possessions one, um, I made so many tackles as well, like I think 7, no, 10 tackles are made at 70% accuracy. So again, a very good performance on my side. Dribbling as well, it's always good to have good ball control as well as balance, especially if you want to progress that ball play quickly as possible to the front line. Uh, passing, not as much, I've only got these two. Shooting, again, nothing on the shooting side of things. And then pace, I've just uh, got this archetype. Again, the key archetypes that I've used are Bull, I've got Guardian as well as Cheetah, but again, it's been mainly based around you putting the skill points accordingly on those. And then the perks are the Physical Strength, the Ball Winner, uh, and uh, Tireless Runner as well, because again, you're going to be pressing all over the pitch, man. You're such a pivotal role, guys, as a CDM, so this is something that I've trialed and tested a lot of times, and I think this is something that's worked out very well for me. So feel free to check it out and see what your thoughts are on this. And do let me know as well what you think around this. If you are max level, then do go ahead with this, um, um, let's say, the, the build that I've got for this player. If you don't have many, let's say, skill points or, or you're not max level as yet, then I would advise that you focus more around getting your pace up as well as the defending and more around the physical. Uh, you can look at the dribbling side of things later, but I think it's more around the physical because, again, you are the anchor person within the team. So you need to be that, you know, the, the strong and the strength within that CDM position. But that's it, really, guys. It's just this game is just so slow to load, man. It's frustrating me. Apologies for the rants, but this EA, they need to fix it up, man. Like FIFA 23, I'm looking forward to it. But the baby child gets all the attention, man, Ultimate Team and other areas. Like they don't do much on the pro club scene. Like I don't know if anyone else faces this issue or if it's just me, but... I don't know, man. But let me know your thoughts anyway, guys, down below um, if you do trial and test this build. I do appreciate if there's any questions that you have. I do my best to answer them and give my opinion based around, like, my experience. I've been playing FIFA Pro Clubs for, like, many years. I was a centre-back always, ranked around top 10 in, like, the early FIFAs, like, consistently globally. Um, even, like, playing in the Pro League side of things as well. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much, and I'll take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.